When you create assignments in Connect, you should select content that aligns with your course goals. Once your course has been created and you're ready to begin building assignments, click on the Assignments tab and then Add Assignment. Question Bank assignments allow you to select individual questions to assign as homework, practice, quizzes, or exams. There are several options for selecting Question Bank assignment content. First, you can select content from the textbook table of contents. Select the appropriate chapter and then select the source within that chapter. You'll see a list of available questions. On the left hand side you have the option to filter the available questions. You can filter by question type, difficulty level, learning objective, topic, and more. Your filter options will vary by course. When you select one of the filters, click Filter Results and the filtered questions will populate to the right. Click the title of any question to see a full preview. You may also navigate through available questions by clicking the blue arrows above the individual question. To return to the previous screen, do not hit the back arrow on your browser. That will exit you out of the assignment. To navigate back, click on the list view at the top right. You can toggle back and forth between list and individual view of the questions. To add a question to the assignment, click Add This Question. You may also add questions from the list view by checking the boxes to the right of each selected question, then clicking on Add Checked Questions, which is available at both the top and the bottom of the question bank. You may add your selection as an individual question, meaning every student will receive this question, or you may add multiple questions to a pool to randomize the assignment for each student. Pooled questions are helpful for summative assignments like quizzes and exams, as randomizing the questions each student answers reduces the risk of academic dishonesty. Choose a pool name for your own reference, as students will not be able to see it. Under Configure Pool, choose how many questions to draw out of the total pool for students to answer. For example, if you draw two of five questions, each student will receive two randomized questions out of the five questions in that pool. Choose how many points each question will be worth and click Add to Pool. In the list view, you'll see a plus sign icon next to the questions you have added to the assignment. You can also select content from multiple chapters by clicking on Select a Different Question Source. Here, you could choose other content from the same chapter or click Return to Table of Contents to select from a different chapter. You can also select from course-wide content outside your textbook materials if they're available for your textbook. Click on the Question Source drop-down menu and select from the course-wide assignment types. To return to the main table of contents, select the textbook title from the drop-down list. Once you've selected all your content, click Organize Assignment at the top of the screen. Here, you can adjust point values individually or set all point values for the entire assignment, including the number of questions drawn from a pool and the point value. You can also reorganize your assignment by dragging, dropping, or deleting questions. But remember that once students have started working on the assignment, you will no longer be able to change the questions asked or their point values. When you finish organizing the assignment, you may rename the assignment at the top of the page. We recommend using a consistent naming convention, such as Week 1 Quiz or Week 1 Homework, to ensure easy navigation for your students, as well as cleaner course data viewing. Once you've entered the assignment name, click anywhere outside the box to save. Then click Continue to move on to the policy settings. <laughs>